Hello ladies and gents and welcome again to another quickie look. Today, again, another early access game. But, unlike the last one, this one shows some genuine promise. And it looks very good. What it is? It's Airships. A game by David Stark, apparently. Stark? Well, I can see that now. Yeah. Anyway, what this game is all about is controlling an empire you have this kind of an empire. We have our city named Squamous, because why not? And let's just start. And I'll explain as we go. This is the empire of Squamous. And here you can see all the... Whenever you click this, you can see the empire details, how much money you're spending in every possible thing. And here we can see our city itself. And the great Squamusian Empire has only a couple of guard buildings in it. Also, apparently we are in the Minecraft universe, because floating things and diamonds. Diamonds are not that rare here though, so don't get your hopes up. So indeed, like all at the moment in this game is the point just to get Invade other cities and defend yours using the airships and the stationary defensive buildings you can create. You can create these indeed. Let's go in here and I'll show you how to design a ship. Uh, here you can have this entire entirety of this blueprint to your leisure. Of course, the, what you can build is limited by the amount of money you possess and otherwise your creativity is the only limit here. And some physics, of course. You can't build an airship without, you know, lift and propulsion, for example. But everything else you can just do as you please. Of course, here are some starting tips the game tells us, thankfully, because I would be totally lost, and I would imagine many of you would also be very, very lost at the beginning if you're just gonna just jump into this. I was also just gonna do, that's what I usually do, jump into a game and see what that is, but at this game I can't do that, so I spent a few minutes in the campaign before I even considered recording. So, here it says to select a module from the list, and it kind of gives you a little hint on what modules you should put there in the red text. Like here, it cannot, you, we cannot give any commands to our ship, so what may gives command to the ship? A bridge, of course. So we will place a bridge here. There we go, we have a bridge. Of course, that bridge itself cannot fly, or if it's an empty bridge, it cannot do anything because it doesn't have the captain or a crew or any shoe, anything. And now that we placed the bridge here, we have gained another couple of red texts here to tell us other things that are wrong with our current design. Fucking bastard. It's a great ship. <laughs> I spent hours making this. No, not, not, not really. Of course, the ship is too heavy to fly, and it has no propulsion and no crew, and there is no one to give commands, so... Of course, the next thing we are gonna do is place a quarters next to the bridge. We shall put two of these to give us some crew members. The next thing is that we need some supply hatches, which are these things right here. We shall just place them here. I don't know how many of these we actually need, but I will place some of them there. And now, of course, the next thing is... How does it fly? Well, they use these kind of suspension chambers. What I imagine is that this thing just floats and allows it to float. Alright, so we can place it here. When it's green, you can place it. You can place it also when it's not green but slightly not more, not as red as this. You can place it there, but it doesn't do anything because it's not connected to the other part of the ship. But you can build, of course, around it and then it comes, becomes activated. 
There we go. Now we have a floating thing. The next thing we need is coal. We are just going to place it here for demonstration purposes and propulsion. And here we have a little propeller we can place right here. So this is a very, very basic ship and already it cost $375 of airship money. This, of course, as you can imagine, is not effective ship in any way, shape or form. But I did make already another ship that um, did perform quite well. It's this Ozymandias. It gave it... We shall open it and see. Now this ship works quite well. It has coal, it has propulsion as in form of a little tiny propeller and some sails. It also has a water tank to prevent fires, I think, and such. It also has a bomb bay door, ammo, two ammo stashes, a bridge, and of course, guns, a rifle, a cannon, another rifle on the front there. So, this is this ship has done me very well. And of course we don't have the money as of yet to even consider creating this. But so how do you get money? How do you get more money to so that you can create these? Yes, we shall leave. How do you create get money to even create these ships and consider attacking anything? Well, you just we just have to build a ship. And I think the Ozamandas is a good bet to build. We shall build Ozymandias, because we have the money at least to do that. There we go. Our fleet is now made of two, two ships. A Revenant and an Ozymandias. I shall wait until our money gets a little bit more. And then I shall start constructing another ship and then we will attack one of these other empires. These guys are already going to town over here. All right, I think we have what we need. Yes, we shall build the eight HMS unmatched. Meanwhile, we shall invade another country. There we go. And welcome to the combat of the game. It's plainly simple, but it also you have to have some strategic to element to this. This is the defense that this man has, this nation. One single bunker. And we have two ships here, ready to plow it through. Let's see, this is our first ship, so we want this. And this is, this is, these white lines give it, show its range and angles where it can shoot. So we want to put this one down here where we can move into range of this place and start shooting at it while this one can just stay, go a little bit more lower so that we can avoid this floating thing. You can somehow create floating things in the sky but I don't know how yet. You can place st structures on the ground you know, no, 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 st yes you can place structures but you can terraform, no, terraform, I'm just you can just edit the ground. Okay, that's a burst word I'm gonna come up with. That you can edit the ground. But I don't seem to be able to create bigger structures in the air or something. Yeah, ground structures. But anyway. The reason why we wanted to move our Ozamanda ship here is because it has, as you may remember, it has Bombay doors. And we want to fly this under this here and start pounding it with explosives. So we're just gonna start and we shall give the command to move over here. And we shall also order this one to get into range to start pummeling it. There we go, bomb bays are going. And we are firing. There we go, another bomb going in. We shall move this a little bit. There we go, we have moved a little closer, and everything is firing. This is going quite well. Bombs going away, good. 
Unfortunately, our other ship is taking fire, so let's just move him out of the way. Actually, it's defeated. Totally defeated. Busted. Every shape of the form, but it's going to... There we go. Explosions and blood gore is happening. Let's follow the action. There we go. We got one. They're losing crew members in that bunker. This is a war of attrition now. We just need to bomb it until they don't have anything. But we're gonna move this guy. We don't want to lose our ship. Don't follow the action anymore. Come on, get out of there. Oh dear, there's a fire in the engine room. Fire in the engine room, oh god. Good, they managed to turn it off at least. Alright, Revenant. You will move away. We don't want you to die. Another fire in the engine room. Oh, final bomb struck and destroyed the entirety of the bunker. The bunker of liquor shot. The liquor shot <laughs> has been destroyed. And now we can either gently take over the city. Leaves the city mostly intact, although there is nothing. Let's just do that gentle takeover. We are, we are not in a rush. Thankfully, no one has decided to attack Squamous while the HMS Unmatched is being built. Soon we are getting. We're gonna get soon enough money to build another HMS Unmatched. Actually, we can do. No. I, I always press the wrong button. We can build another a, a, HMS Unmatched now. Even though I would think I want another Ozymandias for the bombing. There we go. We have a fleet of two ships again, and we shall invade Netakar. And we will build another Ozamandes here to protect the land. Alright, let's see what is net net a car. They have just one measly bunker as well. So we will get the HMS unmatched into position over here so that we can start shooting. And indeed this is the best position for us already. So, let's just start. Bombing commencing! Fire up! Fire the bunker! Bombs away! You missed! Ozamandeus, come on! You missed! Boom! Boom! That one hit though! Bullseye! Focus on shooting! And this is the game, basically. Very enjoyable. I love it. Just, uh, just building. Just the idea of building your own war and air warships and flying them and destroying your enemies with them and even just managing your cities and hoping that you can build enough defenses so that nothing can take over you. It's just fun! This is a fun game. This is what early action should be all about. Not throwing incomplete shit at consumers, but giving something amazing and just build upon it. Holy shit, this is amazing for an early access game. And we managed to take over. Let's just do another gentle takeover, because why not? Let's be gentle with these guys. We can buy, we can create, we should, I will show you the defenses once more, because of course we destroyed everything in here in liquor shot. So we need to build a building, defensive building. There are many of them, like a little sentinel. This is a little tiny piece of shit, but I'm just going to build it here to show you. Yeah, there we go, we have a little tiny piece of shit there, and it builds very quickly, of course it's very cheap to build. But, of course, we want some more. 
Let's build another one. No, not the ship. Another building. We will build a silent watch because this is the best I have. No, hold on. Which one was the very good one? Well, it was this one. Right. The silent watcher shall be built here. That was most of our money, but building defenses is very important here. I'll show you the designing of a building as well. I might as well do that. Alright. Let's create the best. Let's see, what weapons do we have? We have dorsal turrets, which can... They have a very big file field. What? Wield of fire, so they can turn around and they just can shoot anywhere they want. That is a good thing to have. So we were gonna build something like that. A heavy dorsal bunker. That's what we will build. That's an anti-air gun basically. Sure, all of these are, but they can only fire at a certain angle, and of course that limits the defensive capability of the structure. I fucked up. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna come after you ever after I build this. Alright, so I have now built this. Oh, oops. We shall... Hold on. Just rename it into... The grey pillar sounds good, but the Dorset Bunker is better. The Dorset Bunker... I'm just gonna... Not named Norser, Dorser, because it's just too obvious. Dorset Bunker. It's named after a Dorset because it's almost the same. Alright, save the sign as a Dorset Bunker. There we go. You can also save the signs and I think you can download them from other people as well, but I haven't seen that yet. Alright, build it. There we go, and we will leave and see as it gets built. Unfortunately, though, there is no way to force an enemy into attacking us. Oh! Well, I will now. <laughs> That's a big amount of ships, lads. A big amount of ships. Alright, let's see how this fight goes and then after that... I'll call it quits. Alright. What weapons do I have? A rifle? Another rifle, a cannon. And of course my Bombay doors. But as I cannot go any higher than this, that's all I can do. Let's move a little bit back. Actually, let's just move all the way back into the defensive range of the Dorset Cannon. Alright. Let's go. Well, something already happened. Alright. Target ship. Everything seems to be going according to plan. One of them is trying to ram us. Oh, we can bomb it! We can actually bomb one of these. Oh, we hit him with, we hit him with a bomb! Amazing! Alright, two ships down already. Let's move out of the way. There we go. Fire upon that ship! Looks like they take our Dorset gun away. Unfortunate. We can't really do anything about that. We just have to hope we can take this. Come on. Retreat. Retreat. Keep firing though and we keep retreating at the same time. Well, they destroyed our Dorset gun. Come on. Fire upon them! Fire! Our supplies are running low on these. Thankfully though, they are falling like flies. Let's get up as high as we can. There we go. Raise the altitude. Oh dear. We've lost propulsion or something. I don't know what's going on. But we're still kicking because we landed on top of something. 
We just hope we have to outlast them, that's all. They had a very big fleet. But I hope you can see why this game is quite enjoyable. I recommend this. I really, really, really recommend this. My name is Mr. Sefura, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Quickie Looks and other gaming content, let's plays, and other shit. Bye bye. Have a good day.